HT3162 in one hot air rework station launched. Support both soldering and hot air handles. Appearance. There is a lifting handle above it. Both standby holders are made of metal. There are two knobs on the right side of the standby holder. You can adjust the angle of the standby slot according to your habits. There is a blue breathing light at the end of the hot air handle. When entering the heating mode, it turns red. Press the air up and air down buttons at the same time. The hot air enters cold air mode. The light ring turns green under cold air mode. Press the temp up and temp down buttons at the same time. The hot air enters heating mode. The light ring turns purple under force heating mode. The left channel uses a T2254 in one smart soldering handle. Currently, it supports T225 handle, C030, C080, C150. Install and dismantle handle. Power off the device when replacing the handle or heating core of the hot air rework station. Unscrew the connection between the device and the air duct. The air duct integrates a handle with removable 1.0M. 12-pin interface. When reinstalling the air duct, align the yellow dots with the corresponding yellow holes. Then tighten the connection. So far, it supports the H014 handle standard version, which adopts a 1400W heating core module, non-removable, and no gyroscope. HK14 handle, professional edition, three buttons, removable heating core module with gyroscope, the same model in the video. HP14 handle collector's edition, four buttons with screen, removable heating core module with gyroscope. Remove the cover in the middle of the device. Pull out the heating tube, then you can replace the heating core module of different power. When replacing the heating core, align the black needle with the corresponding position on the handle. Twist back the cover. Complete to replace the air duct. Main interface. Turn on the device. We can see the main interface of the device. The characters on the top row respectively are device name, booting time, software version, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and buzzer. There are two channels on the lower side. Long press the R button on the right, to switch to the right channel. Long press the L button on the left, to switch to the left channel. The left channel is for the soldering handle. The right channel is for the hot air handle. Let's take a look at the left channel firstly. The large number in the middle represents the current temperature of the soldering handle. C150 represents the model of soldering tip. The blue font represents the set temperature and working status of the soldering handle. The red progress bar below represents the power of the soldering handle during use. The numbers at bottom refers to the temperature shortcut channels of the soldering handle. Press M1, M2, M3 buttons to switch. Next let's take a look at the right channel. The big number in the middle represents the current temperature of the hot air gun. The small fan in the upper left corner displays the actual air speed of the hot air gun. The working mode and status are displayed in the upper right corner. Press the L button to switch among soft mode, top speed mode and standard mode. Below the big number are the set temperature and air speed of the hot air gun. The red progress represents the power of the hot air gun during use. The numbers at bottom refers to the temperature shortcut channels of the hot air gun. Press the plus and minus buttons on the left side of the device to set the temperature. Press the plus and minus buttons on the right side of the device to set air speed. Long press the corresponding M channel to save the parameters to the corresponding shortcut channel. Buttons on the handle. T22541 Smart Soldering Handle of the Left Channel. Press the button M to switch temperature shortcut channels. Press the plus and minus buttons to adjust temperature. HK14 Handle with buttons of the right channel. Press the M button to switch options among working mode, temperature, air speed and temperature shortcut channel. The plus and minus buttons can be used to set the parameters of different options. Curve Interface. Press the set button to enter the curve interface of the soldering handle. The red number on the left refers to the temperature. The blue number on the right represents power. The green number below represents the time. The temp above represents the actual temperature. Set means the preset temperature. The numbers at bottom refers to the temperature shortcut channels. Press set again to exit the curve interface. Long press the R button to select the channel of the hot air gun. Press the set button to enter the curve interface of the hot air gun. The red number on the left refers to the temperature. 
The blue number on the right represents air speed. The green number below represents the time. The actual temperature and air speed are shown on the top bar. The set temperature and air speed are displayed below. In the lower right corner it shows the working mode. The numbers at bottom refers to the temperature shortcut channels. The set temperature and air speed are displayed above the shortcut channel. Press set again to exit the curve interface. Segment desoldering. Long press the set button to enter the expanded applications interface. Press the M1 or M2 button to select segment desoldering. The segment desoldering is only applicable to hot air gun. Press the set button to confirm. Select M1 shortcut. The operation reminder can be seen. After setting the parameters, long press the corresponding shortcut button to save them to the corresponding shortcut. Long press the set button to save it as the default data. First, let's set the parameter for M1 shortcut. After setting, long press the M1 button to save the data to the M1 shortcut. Then set parameters for channels M2 and M3 one by one. We don't set the default shortcut for the moment. After that, press the M3 button to go back to the main interface. Press the R button to enter the curve interface of the hot air gun. Press the R button again to enter the segment desoldering interface of the hot air gun. You can see that the temperature shortcut channels at the bottom changed as shortcut program. Here we demonstrate with M1 shortcut program. When the hot air gun is placed in the standby holder, you can press the set button to enable the segment desoldering forcibly. Curve desoldering. Enter the application options. Select curve desoldering. You can see a curve in the middle of the interface. The principle of parameter setting is the same as segment desoldering. After setting, back to the main interface. Press the R button to enter the curve interface of the hot air gun. Here we demonstrate with M1 shortcut again. You can switch the inflection point by pressing the temp up slash down button, or the air up slash down button. Press the set button to enable curve desoldering forcibly. The station will start segment desoldering from the selected inflection point. Temperature calibration. Please refer to the operation video of DT02 Smart Thermometer. Settings Interface. Select setting. The first one is language. Here you can choose language among Russian, English and Chinese. Press M3 button to go back. The second one is sounds. You can turn it on or off. After turning off, the device will enter mute mode. The third one is Wi-Fi setting. You can choose to turn on OFF the Wi-Fi. Select set Wi-Fi. Scan the QR code with WeChat to enter the mini program. Find the serial number of the device. Back to the mini program. Find the corresponding serial number of the device. Click connect. Enter Wi-Fi password. Click send. Then it can connect to Wi-Fi. Connect to Wi-Fi successfully. You can also connect to Wi-Fi by turning on AP. After turning on AP, the STA on the left will turn off automatically. Turn on Wi-Fi on your phone. Connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot of HT316. Enter the password displayed on the screen. Then the Wi-Fi hotspot of the device can be connected. Open browser on the phone. Enter the website. 192.168.4.1 Select the Wi-Fi to be connected. Enter password then it can connect to Wi-Fi. The fourth one is temperature. You can select the left or right channel. In the left channel, you can set the temperature unit and temperature compensation of the soldering handle. Long press the L button to switch to the left channel. In the right channel, you can set the temperature unit of the hot air gun. You can choose Celsius or Fahrenheit. The fifth is standby. 
You can set the standby temperature of the left soldering handle by pressing the up and down buttons on both sides. Here we set it to 150 degrees Celsius. Back to the main interface, you can see that when the soldering handle is in standby mode, the temperature turns into 150 degrees Celsius. Press the M2 button to select on the second option. Standby delay can be set as minimum as 10 seconds. Here we set it to 10 seconds. Back to the main interface. Pick up the handle and then put it back into the standby holder. We can see that the soldering tip goes into standby mode after 10 seconds. The third one is standby time can be set as minimum as 30 seconds. Here we set it to 30 seconds. Back to the main interface. The soldering tip enters normal temperature state after 30 seconds. Long press the R button to switch to the right channel. The first one is standby air speed. You can select between manual or auto. Select auto. When the hot air gun is placed in the standby holder, the standby air speed will be set as the value that was manually adjusted last time. Select manual. When the hot air gun is placed in the standby holder, the standby air speed will be adjusted automatically. Next one is flat standby. We can turn it on or off. After turning it on, when the hot eight gun is placed flatly, it enters standby mode automatically. The sixth one is theme. You can choose between dark mode and light mode. The seventh is check up. When a new version is released, you can connect with Wi-Fi and upgrade the device to the latest version offline. The eighth is security. You can set the time of the soldering handle with the left channel. Set it as five minutes. Take out the soldering handle and place it on the desktop. It stops heating automatically after continuous working for five minutes and enter the protection status. Touch the swapping socket to exit protection status. The working time of hot air gun can be set through the right channel. Set it as five minutes. Back to the main interface, press the temp up and down buttons at the same time to enable the hot air gun entering force heating mode. It stops heating automatically after continuous working for five minutes. The ninth one is handle set. You can set for T225 handle in the left channel. The first is flat standby. We can turn it on or off. After turning it on, the handle enters standby mode automatically when it's placed flatly. Second, idle standby. We can turn it on or off. After turning it on, when the soldering handle is in idle, it will enter the standby mode automatically. In the right channel you can set the buttons function of the hot air handle. You can choose to turn on or off the mode, temperature, air speed, and M1-3 air slash temp switching settings. The tenth one is device info. You can see the device name, device model, and etc. The eleventh is reset. We can reset all settings of the device to default. Voice control. It also First. supports voice control. Please check more details in BS08 Smart Voice Center Control Operation Guide. Software upgrade. Connect the device to computer with a Type C cable. Open ISIN software. When a new version is updated in the future, select on the version you need, then click upgrade to upgrade to the latest version. Turn off the device. Above are all the operation instructions of HT316. To learn more about ISIN products and software updates, please follow ISIN YouTube channel ISIN or official website www.ison.com.